In a surprising turn of events, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has made a groundbreaking discovery that has astronomers around the world in awe. A few weeks ago, the telescope discovered the earliest known galaxy in the universe, a finding that was already monumental. However, it has now detected something even more massive, a supermassive black hole moving away from its galaxy at an incredible speed of 4 million miles per hour. This latest discovery has profound implications and has generated much speculation among scientists and space enthusiasts about what it means for our understanding of the cosmos and the nature of black holes. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched on a mission to explore the first galaxies in the universe, aiming to provide insights into the early stages of cosmic history. It has captured stunning images of the death of stars and galaxies from a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, shedding light on the universe's formative years. We invite you to join us in exploring the latest discoveries from this telescope, which promises to revolutionize our understanding of space. Remember to like and subscribe for more content like this as we continue to delve into the mysteries of the cosmos. The later discovery is challenging the scientific community's current understanding of black holes, presenting a paradigm shift in how these cosmic entities are perceived. Black holes are generally thought of as huge entities that pull everything, including light, towards them, leading to their characteristic darkness. However, the recently observed black hole appears to be having the opposite effect. Instead of absorbing light, it is creating new young stars along a long trail. This new trail of newborn stars has been observed in the wake of the black hole, which stretches an incredible 200,000 light years away, posing new questions about the dynamics of black holes. Scientists are puzzled by the unusual behavior of this black hole compared to others, as it defies long-held theories about their nature. A team led by astronomy professor Peter B. recently reported their findings in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, highlighting the need for further study. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope also confirmed these observations, suggesting that the black hole awakens new stars when it comes into contact with gas and cools it. We are seeing the wake behind the black hole, a phenomenon that could offer new insights into star formation and galactic evolution, challenging our current models. But that's not all. NASA has made an exciting announcement about the galactic merger ARP-220, which was captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. This impressive galactic merger can be seen shining among other galaxies in the night sky, showcasing the dynamic nature of cosmic interactions. When two spiral galaxies merge, the phenomenon known as ARP-220 shines brightest in the infrared, making it perfect for observation by the James Webb Space Telescope. It is classified as an ultraluminous infrared galaxy with a luminosity of a trillion suns, a staggering brightness compared to our own galaxy, the Milky Way, which has a much lower luminosity of about 10 billion suns. ARP-220 is located in the constellation Serpens, about 250 million light-years away, placing it relatively close in cosmic terms. It is considered the brightest of the three closest galactic collisions to Earth and is listed as object number 220 in the Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies, highlighting its unique features. About 700 million years ago, two spiral galaxies collided in a huge explosion of star formation resulting in a spectacular display of cosmic fireworks. This created a dense region about 5,000 light years across that contains about 200 large star clusters, a testament to the intense star forming activity that followed the collision. Surprisingly, this small area contains as much gas as the entire Milky Way, indicating a rich reservoir of star forming material. Previous observations with radio telescopes discovered about 100 supernova remnants in less than 500 light years across, revealing the aftermath of numerous stellar deaths. The Hubble Space Telescope revealed that the parent galaxies are located 1,200 light years apart, and that each core contains a rotating ring of star formation that emits dazzling infrared light. The latest views from the James Webb Space Telescope show an impressive galactic merger of the two galaxies providing unprecedented detail of these cosmic giants in their dance. This image also shows faint tidal tails extending from the outskirts of the merger, indicating the gravitational pull between the two galaxies and the dynamic forces at play. Finally, the red, yellow, and orange streams and filaments represent scattered organic materials in ARP-220, adding to the complexity and beauty of this galactic interaction. 
Another stunning discovery has stumped scientists. Researchers found primordial galaxies at the edge of the universe, pushing the boundaries of our cosmic understanding. Initially skeptical about their authenticity, some thought they might be nearby galaxies in disguise, a common issue in deep space observations. They shared the data with other scientists around the world, hoping for the best and seeking verification from the global scientific community. Amazingly, the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed that these ancient galaxies are real, solidifying their place in our cosmic narrative. Thanks to this revolutionary telescope, we can now observe the oldest galaxies ever seen, providing a window into the early universe. Astronomers estimate that light from these galaxies has traveled more than 13.5 billion years to reach Earth, giving us a glimpse into the distant past of the universe and the conditions that prevailed shortly after the Big Bang. These galaxies were discovered when the universe was young, shedding light on how quickly the first generations of galaxies emerged and revealing the rapid pace of early cosmic evolution. The spectral data confirmed that these galaxies are at the edge of our view, some even farther away than Hubble could see, marking a new frontier in astronomical research. The discovery is crucial because it validates one of the most important tasks of the James Webb Space Telescope, which is to study the early universe through light that has been traveling for more than 13.5 billion years. This ability to peer back in time offers invaluable insights into the universe's formative epochs. The ability to measure extreme redshifts is what sets James Webb apart, allowing astronomers to peer into the infrared range and observe the first galaxies in the universe with unprecedented clarity. The excitement in the air is palpable as this discovery marks an important milestone in the exploration of the universe and in understanding its evolution. The discovery has had a major impact on our understanding of the universe and has prompted NASA to develop even more powerful telescopes than the James Webb Space Telescope to confirm whether our understanding of the Big Bang is correct. This relentless pursuit of knowledge continues to push the boundaries of what we know. Data obtained from Webb Spectrometer and Near-Infrared Camera have revealed that four of the six primordial galaxies have extreme redshifts, suggesting that Webb is observing them as if they existed 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang, without heavy elements such as carbon. This is surprising, since the universe is estimated to be 13.8 billion years old, and the existence of these galaxies suggests that we need to revise our understanding of the early universe. This has generated concern in the scientific community as these new discoveries challenge the current cosmological inflation model and the Big Bang Theory, which has some loopholes such as going against the law of thermodynamics and not having a clear explanation of what caused the Big Bang. In addition, the James Webb Space Telescope is discovering galaxies almost as old as the Big Bang itself, which questions everything that we thought we knew about the origin of the universe and its early development. According to theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, the discovery of ancient galaxies by the James Webb Space Telescope has called into question everything we knew about the beginning of the universe, prompting a re-evaluation of our fundamental theories. Previously, these galaxies were thought to be less developed than the Milky Way, but the new findings suggest that we may be missing crucial information about the early stages of galaxy formation. James Webb's achievements have exceeded our expectations. Consisting of a 6.5-meter mirror, a sun shield the size of a tennis court, and a complex array of instruments cooled to temperatures near absolute zero, the telescope observed the sky in infrared radiation, revealing details of the universe just after its birth 13.8 billion years ago. It captured images of stars born in clouds of dust and collected faint light from the deepest bits of the universe, exploring the darkest corners. The infrared instruments of the space telescope are also useful for studying strange and bizarre worlds, uncovering secrets previously hidden from our view. In particular, James Webb has focused on Proxima b, capturing the sharpest image of our closest neighboring exoplanet. What's fascinating is that what it has revealed goes beyond our expectations, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. In January 2024, we reached a remarkable milestone in our understanding of the universe. For millennia, humans have observed the sky, wondering about points of light in apparent infinity. Just three decades ago, we began to discover planets orbiting other stars through various methods, revolutionizing our perspective on the cosmos. Now, with 55 confirmed exoplanets and 10,000 additional candidates, we are in a new era of astronomy, exploring fascinating and diverse worlds beyond our solar system. Planet formation exhibits remarkable diversity, 
determined by a number of factors including chemical composition, geological activity, and atmospheres. These findings challenge our previous assumptions and open new avenues for research. When findings point to the presence of worlds with chemical elements even superficially related to life, the discoveries are significant, providing answers to some of our questions about the cosmos. However, deeper questions remain, driving our curiosity further. In this context, the mission of the James Webb Space Telescope is focused on exploring the atmospheres of exoplanets for signs of life in other corners of the universe. Although James Webb is an infrared telescope, which raises the question of its suitability for studying actual planets, it will use a transit method for this purpose. This method involves observing the light from a star as a transiting planet passes between the star and us, allowing for detailed study of the planet's atmosphere. Collaboration with ground-based telescopes will complement this research by allowing measurement of the mass of planets using the radial velocity technique, which detects the slight wobble induced by a planet's gravitational tug. In addition, James Webb will perform spectroscopy of planetary atmospheres and carry coronagraphs to obtain direct images of nearby exoplanets. Although these images may appear as simple points of light, their detailed analysis will reveal valuable information such as color variations that may indicate seasonal or rotational differences in vegetation, shedding light on the potential for life. Spectroscopy, which involves measuring the intensity of light at different wavelengths, is fundamental to unraveling the atmospheric compositions of exoplanets. When a planet sits in front of a star, starlight passes through its atmosphere, and the elements and compounds present in the atmosphere absorb light at characteristic wavelengths. This absorption is reflected in the observed spectrum, making it possible to identify the presence of elements such as sodium, methane, or water. These insights can reveal the planet's potential for supporting life. An infrared telescope is essential for characterizing the atmospheres of these exoplanets because many of the gases relevant to the search for life, such as water and carbon dioxide, emit and absorb light in the infrared range. Additionally, this wavelength provides valuable information about the temperature and chemical composition of the atmospheres, which contributes significantly to our understanding of the habitability of these distant worlds. Observation in the infrared spectrum offers the advantage that molecules present in the atmospheres of exoplanets exhibit a wide range of spectral characteristics. The ultimate goal is to discover a planet with an Earth-like atmosphere, and in this effort to find an Earth 2.0, the James Webb Telescope has turned its attention to Proxima b, offering the most promising signs yet. This enigmatic exoplanet, located light years away, is the closest known neighbor. Proxima b is a super-Earth orbiting an M-type star with a mass approximately 1.27 times that of Earth and an orbital period of 11.2 days. This planet lies at a distance of about 0.085 astronomical units from its star, within the habitable zone. However, the intense ultraviolet radiation it receives from its star poses challenges to habitability, as this radiation can erode the atmosphere and compromise the presence of elements essential for life, such as oxygen and nitrogen. The habitability of a planet depends not only on its location in a habitable zone, but also on the ability of its atmosphere to maintain conditions suitable for life, such as climate regulation, radiation protection, and preservation of necessary chemical components. These factors are crucial in determining a planet's potential to support life. In addition to Proxima b, James Webb is also interested in other exoplanets such as WASP-107b, and the wandering worlds of the Orion Nebula, which challenge our conventional conceptions of planetary formation. These recent discoveries have opened up new questions about the formation and diversity of objects in the universe, challenging our existing theories and stimulating continued explorations of the cosmos. We were on the lookout for astronomical tiny objects and have found them, even as small as half the mass of Jupiter, floating freely in space, unbound to any star. Physics tells us that objects of such a small scale should not exist, but we seem to have defied those laws. These bodies, which are technically not planets, have been dubbed Jupiter-mass binary objects because several of those identified come in pairs. Although these two jumbos are over a million years old, which is very young in astronomical terms, their first surface temperatures reach a scorching 1,000 degrees Celsius. Although they will eventually cool, these objects may exhibit interesting atmospheric features such as the presence of steam and methane,
but they are not considered capable of harboring extraterrestrial life as their surfaces could not sustain liquid water even during their brief period of moderate temperature. These observations have focused on the Orion Nebula, a region of massive star formation located 1,344 light years away from Earth. This nebula, visible to the naked eye as a fuzzy star in the sword of the constellation Orion, is a celestial spectacle filled with clouds of dust and gas where explosions and gravitational collapses occurred, giving rise to the formation of stars and other celestial objects. The most recent findings have puzzled astronomers, especially the presence of numerous pairs of Jupiter-sized objects. The question of how these objects can be flung out of a star's orbit in chaotic interactions and then rejoin remains an enigma. Even experts like Professor Matthew Bate, head of astrophysics at the University of Exeter, acknowledge that they have no definitive answer to this anomaly. It seems that our current theories are not sufficient to fully explain these new findings, prompting a reevaluation of our understanding. There is an unknown mechanism that is shaping these objects, something we have not yet considered. This type of discovery is quite unusual and challenges our understanding of star formation, an area we thought we understood quite well. It is a surprising result from which we can learn more about pushing the frontiers of astronomical science. Let us know what you think in the comments box. If you like the video, remember to like it, share it so it reaches more people, and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content like this. Engaging with this content helps us continue bringing you more discoveries.